Wow, it's it's, it's been a while. been a long time. It's been almost a month, or at least three to four weeks since uh, we did this book. Can't drink a meatball through a straw. Chapter one and two. Hey, here we go. I, I don't know why I did so well editing this video or the intro, but I did. But let's begin it. Hey, chapter one. Oh boy, oh boy, I yelled at the top of my lungs, the pizza's here. How do you know, my best friend Frankie Townsend asked. I didn't hear the doorbell ring. My nose, my nose, nose. I told him I could sniff out pepperoni a mile away. It was Friday pizza night. Frankie and my other best friend Ashley Wong and I were sitting in my living room playing this card game we made up called Florida Coconuts. I'd explain the rules to you, but they don't make any sense. Even to us, it involves dropping a deck of cards on the loser's head. Instead of a real coconut, which would leave a lump, I got up and ran to the front of the door. Our dog Cheerio followed me and he can sniff out pepperoni in my way too. I told him that my mom was there balancing a huge pizza box in her hands. My mom, my, 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 my younger sister Emily was next to her holding a paper bag that smelled like Italian salad and garlic rolls. Standing next to her was a tall girl wearing a chef's hat. A white chef's hat. Mom, I've never been so glad to see you in my whole life. I said, Emily, I'm not that happy to see you and you and you with the crazy hat. I have no idea who you are. Hank, my mom said, coming in our apartment. This is your cousin, Judith Ann, remember? I told you she was coming in from Ch Chicago to spend the weekend with us. We're hosting her while her parents are away at a business conference. Whoops, I answered. That must have slipped right through my brain and out my left ear. Or maybe it was my right ear, but who cares Where, when there's pizza involved. I reached out where, when there's pizza involved. I reached out and took the box from my, from my mom's hands and headed for the dining room table. My dad brought plate, plates and a big roll of toilet a paper towels. Oh my gosh. From the kitchen, it was going to be our usual Friday pizza fest and movie night. Wait, pizza fe feast or is it fest? Yeah, I would say pizza feast. Or maybe it's fest. I would say feast, pizza feast, and movie night. Dig in, Judith Ann, I called to her. Take off your crazy hat and grab a slice while it's hot. Judith Ann walked over to the dining room table and stared at our pizza. No thanks, she said. I don't eat that type of pizza. My dad said, are you allergic to wheat? No, Judith Ann said, but I, am, I, but I only like cheese. I make myself with goat cheese and artichokes. Judith Ann is quite an excellent cook, my mom explained. In fact, in case you have forgotten, she said straight, wait, she said looking straight at me. The reason she's spending the weekend with us is that she's competing in the junior chef cook-off. And that explains the crazy hat, I said. But I've got to tell you, I have, I gotta tell you, Judy, you're missing out on one delicious pizza here. We ordered triple cheese with pepperoni. No one calls me Judy, Judy, she said without cracking a smile. My full name is Judith Ann, just like your full name is Henry, which is what I'm going to call you. You can, you can do that, I said with my mouth full, but I won't answer. Ashley and Frankie burst out laughing, shooting some pretty powerful garlic breath into the air. He's been Hank since we were in preschool, Frankie told her. It's definitely not a Henry type. Ashley a added, Henrys have gray hair and are math teachers. Yeah, I laughed. I can't even subtract, so you better stick with Hank. Tell him, Judy. I mean, Judith. I mean, Judith Ann. What's your favorite thing to cook aside from weird pizza? Well, for the junior sh junior chef cook-off this weekend, I'll be preparing my special vegetarian meatballs. Wait a minute! I stopped eating and scratched my head. What's making it a meatball? If there, what what makes it a meatball if there's no meat? I mean, if there's no meat, then it's just a meat a ball.
Frankie and Ashley cracked up again. Judith Ann was not amused. My vegetarian meatballs are made of chopped eggplant, carrots, mushrooms, white beans, and of course breadcrumbs. Oh, they sound so um, interesting, Ashley said, and round Frankie added, Judith Ann seemed pleased. I got the idea from watching my favorite TV show, Country Cooking for the City. They were making vegetarian hot dogs. The idea of a hot dog made of mushed up cauliflower almost made me gag. So I decided it's, it, 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 it'd be best just to eat some pepperoni pizza and talk about TV shows. Wait a minute, on all of the TV, that's your favorite show. I said to Judah Fan taking a bite of my new slice of pizza. My favorite is Zombats. It's about these really scary Zombats. You loved, I don't really like You'd love it. I don't really like Harry Rodents, Judah Fan said. Besides, I only watch cooking shows on TV. Too bad, I said. Just like this pizza, you're missing out. I try to offer Judah Fan a slice, one with big, with a big juice, a juicy piece of pepperoni right in the middle. But she just made a face. How about if I make you guys some real food, Judah Fan said. I need to practice for the contest anyway, and you can be my tasters. Maybe my cooking will take your taste buds on a new adventure. Oh, that sounds like such fun, doesn't it, kids? My mom said with a little too much enthusiasm. Yeah, it really does, Emily agreed. Emily, you have a chore to do. First, my dad said, Catherine's cage needs cleaning. When you have a pet, you have to take care of it. Cheerio wagged his towel and started chasing it. When he runs in a circle, he looks like a Cheerio. That's how he got his name. Oh, that's right, Daddy, Emily said. Then turning to Judith Ann, she added, Catherine is my pet iguana. She's really pretty, and she doesn't like a pellet poop buildup. And she doesn't like a pellet poop buildup. For just a second, Judith Ann looked like she was going to throw up, but she recovered in time to squeak out, I'll be in the kitchen when you're finished. Ash Ashley and Frankie and I have been planning to watch the swamp monster for the 14th time. But before I knew it, my mom had hardened had heard us, herded us into the kitchen to watch Judith Ann wash her eggplants and carrots and mushrooms. So long, Swamp Monster. Goodbye, fun. It was going to be a vegetarian meatball kind of night. Here we go, chapter two. I honestly don't know why everyone was making such a big deal of Judith Ann cooking. Doesn't seem that hard to me. Even I can cook. Five things I can cook with one hand tied behind my back. One, toast. If you're looking for an adventure, add grape jelly. Two, a glass of water. Don't put too, put in too much ice or the cubes will stick to your lips. Three, a peanut butter sandwich. Take small bites or you'll never open your mouth again. Four, a, a s'more. Make sure you melt the marshmallow really well or it will taste like inside of a pillow. Number five, trail mix. Put a bunch of raisins in a plastic bag. Leave out the nuts and seeds and all that stuff that looks like pebbles. Some people might call this a bag of raisins, but I call it Hank's Perfect Trail Mix. That's it for chapter one and two. Remember guys, to like this video, subscribe, or turn the post notification off for all. Remember, this is a reread series, so currently i got like four series going on, but I'm going to basically finish Big Nate either tomorrow or Sunday, and I'm going to try to finish The Last Kids on Earth by the end of these next five days. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know, but I promise you guys I'll be finishing the reread series of this, The Last Kids on Earth and the Cosmic Beyond, including the Big Nate book that we have currently going on, and Booyah. Those are all the books that we've gotten started that we could actually finish and are not too, you know, late to finish. Because I know that that Nancy Drew book is going to take hella time to finish that book. Sorry for my language, but I'm not even tro I'm not even trolling. It takes me about a whole month to try to read that book. And let me tell you, I don't got a month. I got five days, and if these books can get me done in five days, I'll be happy enough as heck. Alright, see you later guys. Bye!